Abraham. It was kind of a weird realization I had when I was in university that I could write comedy. I could do that. I could perform it. So it was years ago that I started writing comedy. And I'm glad I didn't perform any of those jokes because I'm sure they were all terrible. And this middle-aged woman legitimately thought something was wrong with her television. <laughs> Especially as a non-binary comedian, I was super excited when I was asked to perform for a look by men on. That was just like, it blew my mind because that was one of the only non-binary people that I knew in the media at, at all. I'd be writing jokes like, oh, that shit's hilarious. But we'll look I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I think it's really exciting to ever get asked to travel to perform, and I love performing at local venues as well. But since I'm also a musician for media, especially for games, I'd really love to see things like this become more of a thing at games events. I find myself constantly trying to sneak some comedy into game events. I'm trying to get that Lara Croft in there, you know? <laughs> some of my comedy is obviously for people of sexual or gender minorities or experience marginalization in any other way. And obviously I want to talk about things that uh, might seem awkward to talk about or uh, a lot of people just don't talk about or don't experience at all. And I just fucked it into oblivion! I fucked it into the void! The bottom line is that I just really love doing comedy. <laughs> I think uh, it's a lot of fun to get up in front of an audience and just play around with things we're all thinking. I got a tiny dick! And he was mad! It destroyed him! He was like, wait, wait, wait!